Okay guys, staying at home sucks when you have to. It's nice to stay at home, have a movie night. Uh, we're all under quarantine. Uh, we're all not wanting to go outside and do things. We can't do it, really. But anyway, so what I've decided to do is to share with you some recipes, some rip-off recipes that uh, are your favorites out in restaurants that you can't go to right now. Do you remember those days we used to go to a restaurant? Anyway, um, these are rip-off recipes. So you don't have to go. You can go to the drive-thru and have somebody you don't know touching your food and handing it to you. Or you can stay home with your family and you can do this with the kids. This is really easy. So this is the Mexican pizza from Taco Bell. It's an all-time favorite. Children love it and kids will have a blast making it. Are you guys ready for a, a rip-off recipe? All right, let's do it. Got all these beautiful ingredients. We got some, this is a, I believe this is white corn, right? This is a white corn tortillas. Why did I get so many? Because it's the only one I could find. The, the smaller packages were all gone. Everybody snacked them up. Anyway, so this corn, white corn tortillas, cilantro, green onions, you have cheddar cheese, Monterey Jack, you have salsa, sliced olives, tomato, meat, enchilada sauce, refried beans, and some good old oil. And let's not forget the little packet hiding down here of Taco Bell taco seasoning. It's all gonna come together, it's gonna be delicious. As always, a lot of our recipes are pretty much the same when it comes to a skillet. Gotta put a little bit of oil in the pan, not a lot. Now remember my little trick on how to find out if it's, if it's ready? Just take a little small pinch of meat and stick it right in the oil. And when the meat starts sizzling, you know we're good to go. So it's not hot enough yet. As you can see, our little speck of meat is sizzling. So that means it's, it's good and warm, ready to put the rest of it in. So drop your meat in. Drop your cilantro in. And don't forget your Taco Bell taco seasoning. Get that all piled in there. Then you can start cutting it up and moving it around. Okay, now while this is cooking, I just want to throw out something. The recipe does not say cilantro. So we added cilantro to the recipe because my wife is addicted to cilantro. If it's Mexican food, it's got to have cilantro in it. And so we added it in. But the recipe down below does not have it. If you want it, throw it in. If you don't want it, leave it out. All right, so the meat's almost all brown. When it's almost done, you're going to put your water in and you're going to let it simmer and cook the rest of the way out for about 10 more minutes at least. If there's any pink, just keep cooking it out, okay? All right, so grab yourself a food chopper or a food processor and you're going to carefully place the meat that you just cooked into the food processor okay all right all the meat was just cooked in the seasoning now we're going to close it up and plug it in okay and we're going to chop this down to a fine consistency Okay, this is a small, a smaller skillet. You can use a frying pan or a skillet. You don't want to, you know, go through a lot of oil, so you try and keep it small enough to do like a, a small tortilla, okay? There we go. And I was told something. It's really interesting 
This was a tip from a chef. Let me turn on the flame. Now when you're cooking your tortillas in oil, you're frying them in oil, this is a trick. It's not my trick. Put some cumin in and the tortillas will get seasoned with the cumin and have a Mexican flavor to them. Absolutely amazing. That's a great tip. Once you got a nice, like 350 to 375 oil going, which I use my little thermometer here to make sure it's close to that. Yep, we're good. You're looking at, what, 45 seconds at the most. Just keep an eye on them, then make sure you have a place to put them where they're going to drain. Too firm, okay? You don't want it brittle. So the first thing we gotta do is finish, and the, like the, really the last before we put everything together, is make our sauce. You've got salsa and enchilada sauce. You're going to mix the two. Gently pour that into your salsa. And carefully give it a good mix. Take your time. Because we're gonna be popping our Mexican pizzas into the oven for a few minutes anyway. So you don't have to worry about anything getting cold on you. Okay, here is the one we're going to show as an example. And this is what you're going to do to each and every tortilla, okay? So you're going to take one tortilla in the center there. You make sure you get a big spoonful of beans. Start with a reef by beans and just spread it around. Then grab yourself some ground beef mixture. Put that on top. Spread that out. You want to do the beans first so the meat will stick in place. If you would like a lot of meat, make more meat in this recipe. If you don't, if you just want the regular recipe, it'll be down below. Next thing is cover your Mexican pizza. I'm going to cover it this way so it'll hold the toppings. Give it a gentle press. Don't crack what you fried. Then we're going to put some some sauce on top so that all our toppings will will stick in place. Just spread that around. This looks delicious. Get a little bit more. Spread that around. And then put on all your toppings. Do a little bit, a little bit of tomatoes. little bit of cheese you got a lot of toppings so be real careful all right a little bit of green onion oops get up there you are so stubborn take a few black olives Like that. Okay, here they are. The Mexican pizzas by Taco Bell made in our kitchen. So we're gonna pop these in the oven, 400 degrees, okay? For about five to 10 minutes. All you gotta do is melt the cheese. You're only getting it warmed up. So the cheese will melt on top and then you're ready to chow down. You guys ready? All right, let's get this going. I don't know about you, but that looks exactly like a Taco Bell Mexican pizza. That is a rip-off recipe right there. You guys, we're gonna try this out right now. All right, here we go. I don't normally order these, by the way. My wife does all the time. I've ordered this like two or three times in my life. That is really good. That is like, that is really good. And guess what? No teenager was fingering my food. It was awesome. But I gotta beg my wife to try it. Come try it. Your old director looked fine. Come over here. That one right there. 
You love these. You would know. Yeah, but I always put extra sauce on. Oh, yeah. She always puts extra sauce on. She'll tell me, honestly, it was close, not close. So be ready for a good review from somebody who orders it all the time. Okay. Okay. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Okay. It's dinner time. We're going to go get our Mexican on and we'll see you on the next episode. We love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.